axiography, movement registration, minimum axiography required list for analyzing. First of all, we need to record mouth opening and closing, protrusion, left and right laterotrusion. We call it habitual movements or stereotype movements. What does it mean? We do this type of axiography firstly, we do not give patient any advices and do not rehearse how to move. It must be comfortable to patient. Automatically you understand how this movements are complicated. For example, look at open and close movement. You can analyze it, check centration of lower jaw, the first contact or deviation, also analyze right and left joint. Difference in amplitude and also analyze forward movement, protrusion, left and right movements. You don't give any advices to patient because you need to understand comfortable way to move the jaw. How stereotypically movement formed, abrasion and teeth decay. Also check the treatment. So, this stereotypical axiography very informative, because you see how patient close his mouth and return back in habitual bite, how he open mouth, deviations, so it's all record by axiography. The second axiography is movements with tooth guidance. Here you record protrusion and laterotrusion, supported by teeth. It's necessary to analyze guidance teeth, presence of any super contacts in molars area, how lower jaw moves forward and returns back laterotrusion movements. It's necessary to analyze working side, here it is a right movement. We check teeth involved in canine guidance. But we also analyze contacts on balancing side. Maybe we have a super contact there. It's very important because all super contacts and dynamic occlusal disorders force trajectories and can be the reason of TMJ disorder. That's why we analyze working side and balancing side. With such trajectory, protrusion and laterotrusion with tooth guidance, it is comfortable to estimate harmony of digital parameters. We can compare sagittal angle of articular guidance and sagittal angle of incisal guidance, Bennett angle and canine guidance. Wrong positioned teeth, Destructed teeth make lower jaw to move on forced trajectories. The second type of axiography it's like a simplified digital analysis. Third record, it's also protrusion, left and right laterotrusion, but it is a movement free of tooth contacts. This is necessary to evaluate clear joint movements, and also get articulator settings. This movement gives us possibility to estimate joint movements when teeth don't influence direction. Check changes of trajectory, because tooth guidance very often change trajectories. This leads to differences in tooth and joint trajectories. The third record shows smoother trajectories. It's like a one of the criteria of differential diagnostic, how teeth guide trajectories and how trajectories become forced. These are three necessary trajectories which you need to record. After that you can add in articular analysis any type of trajectories like a bruxing, speech and chewing. That this list with three axiography is obligatory to record. All trajectories record together to evaluate how trajectories of opening, protrusion and laterotrusion are similar in the initial stage or it's have some differences and it's all necessary for functional analysis.